To assist the blind in creating a mental picture, 3D tactile photographic prints are embedded with sensors throughout the art. When a sensor is activated by touch, a custom audio track provides detailed information about that specific area of the art. Audio theater incorporates descriptions and effects that cause the viewer to feel as if they are a participant in the art. Here, in Eastman Johnson's version of George Washington crossing the Delaware, there are 27 sensors embedded. Three sensors provide background information on the history of the event, the artist, and the painting. 24 additional sensors provide detailed information about the people and the crossing. Here is one example. The flag depicted here and being held by future President James Monroe is the original flag of the United States, the design of which did not exist at the time of Washington's crossing. This flag's design was specified in June 1777 and flew for the first time on September 3rd, 1777, well after Washington's crossing in 1776. The historically accurate flag would have been the Grand Union flag, officially hoisted by Washington himself on January 1st, 1776. Here is another example. George Washington wore his battle sword while serving as commander of the Continental Army during the Revolutionary War. Made by John Bailey of Fishkill, New York, an immigrant cutler from Sheffield, England, the sword has a slightly curved, grooved steel blade, silver-mounted cross guard and pommel, and a green ivory grip. And one more. General George Washington is depicted here in heroic stance. An atmosphere of high drama embodies the moment. The artist depicts a sense of urgency in what was truly a pivotal moment of American history. Dressed in his Continental Army officer's trademark attire, a blue-coated uniform, tricorn hat, calf-high riding boots, and a gray, red-lined cape, he holds a brass telescope in his right hand, symbolizing his visionary leadership. His prominent saber on his left thigh suggests that he is a powerful warrior. He stands in profile, erect and resolute, his right foot raised and resting firmly near the bow of the Durham boat, focusing his thoughts on the future, not on the worries of the moment. His confidence is inspiring to his soldiers as they struggle against great odds to cross the icy river as dawn approaches. The New Jersey shore can be seen in the distance. 